Hello guys, it's the Alpha Life here. I hope your day is going pretty good. Before we start, I have some Roblox merch. Link in the description. My personal favorite is new robot, uh, BGS shirt. It has time. It shows times two luck on the back of the shirt. If you go right here, times two luck. Um, cool shading. I mean, it has everything you could want. Times two luck. My. And then we got that. That's pretty much everything, guys. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. Play the intro. Okay, guys, so before we start, just go into Roblox Studios, and, uh, I got logged. I got logged out, so I'm just gonna re-sign back in, and, uh, we'll switch to when that happens. Okay, guys, so once you're in Roblox Studios, we'll just literally open anything. I'm gonna open base plate. You can open whatever. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna need a plugin called called character loader um this is updated guide on my old guide so next just hit here at load character now go to this yt underscore the alpha life type you should type in your username now make sure your roblox character is like bloxy like this bloxy kind of so just hit spawn r6 so make sure spawn and origin is checked because it'll be useful later in the tutorial. So next, just head over to your Roblox character. Uh, make sure you have a folder because it's going to export a little bit of stuff now. Okay, so I have a folder right here. I'm just going to call it. I'm just going to call it my dude. You can. I'm just going to call it. I'm going to call it. Mm, I'm going to call it model not spelled correct because it doesn't really matter you can name it anything long as you remember it okay next what we're gonna do okay yeah i was about to say where my dude go next open the model and delete the torso the right arm the left arm this humanoid just delete everything but the hat so next when you do this okay so once you're in here just go here in this folder hit new folder and we're gonna call it hats. You can call it whatever, as long as you're only number. Next, go back to Roblox Studios. Hit here, hit export selection hats. And I'm just gonna name it hats. There you go. And uh, we're done with Roblox Studios. You can close it now. And uh, let's get right to Blender. Okay, guys, just go ahead, open this file. Once you're done with this, just go ahead. You see this? Next, when you load in, you're gonna have this. Your head is going to be selected now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here, navigate to the file. I called mine GFX tutorial. GFX tutorial spelled wrong. Next, hit YT Alpha Life 4. That, that's mine. I don't know if it'll be yours. Next, um, you got your dude right here. Usually I would pose him, but we're gonna do one more thing before we do that. Hit file, import wavefront OBGI. GFX hats hats OBGI. Now there you go. You got your hats right here. Uh, right there. You got my got my things. There you go. Now once you do this, you're just going to uh, pose the hats really quick. I'm gonna bring it off of my character because they will move when you do the render, and it might be a little bit distracting. You don't have to, but I will. Next, just simply. Uh, do your character just go right here i am gonna use the transform tool put it in pose mode make sure you put it in pose mode make sure your character is selected then go up then you have this thing in the corner hit here pose mode now i want you to do this select this tool we could select any of the tools and just simply pose your character i'm gonna do something really simple and just like do that and i'm gonna make him Okay, there you go. Once you have your character posed, just I want my character just like that. Actually, I'm gonna turn the head a little bit. Next, just go ahead, get the hat, hats, move, move it down right to the Roblox character, and uh, that I think that looks pretty good. Uh, no, it does not look good. Just get it until you get it right. There you go. That looks good. Yeah, there you go. You got my character right here. 
now if you now go ahead we've done your character once you can pause the video before that now now you have your character right and go ahead and render it but before you click off the video you know you think you know how to render there's one step that you need to do so if you click here the hats are transparent so simply select the hats go to the radio light area transparency and turn it to zero once you do that and there you go next off we uh i'm gonna use a plugin it's called easy hdri basically we're gonna use an hdri to light our character easily so i'm just gonna go ahead and add a new scene because there you go now it doesn't have to be animation it can be anything there you go you got easy hdri so and I, I'm gonna switch to that. I personally use Kira Dawn. And once you do this, now you might think Kira Dawn's not the best one. No. I'm gonna use Kira Dawn because it lights your entire character. And then hit this little image button to stop it. Now that's a lot easier than doing the whole thing. Next, I'm just gonna go here, light area. And I'm actually going to. And I'm actually going to scale this so it lights the whole, like, dude. And uh, make sure your render resolution is on cycles. And I think I'm going to put my viewport to zero. Next, adaptive sampling. I think adaptive sampling, simplify motion blur. I, generally, this stuff makes your render look better, in my opinion, of course. Ambient collusion. Okay, do not turn on ambient collusion because it lights your character up, but it just makes your whole dude like that. And I don't really want that, so we're going to turn it off. And uh, there you go, that's her. Now you can turn that on, but it makes like the face and everything too lit. So my computer is really loud right now. I don't know why. So next, uh, hit add. Oh, hit add. Uh, camera. And we're just going to do this and this. Go into camera view. Hit G on your keyboard to do that. And we're actually going to move my dude a little bit back. Because I think that's a little bit too close. Can I get him a shot? Um, okay, so my blender just crashed. So we're going to go ahead back in and uh, keep posing my camera. Now just hit F12 on your keyboard. If this is too far for you... Move it closer. And I guess once you do this, just hit F12 on your keyboard and your dude should render. And uh, yeah, just wait until he finished, fully finishes, fully finishes rendering. And uh, that's what your character should look like. And um, you guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Buy the insane merch, by the way. Uh, link in the description. There you go. You got your dude. You got your accessories. And I might make another updated guide. But uh, that's pretty much it for this. Uh, I'm currently working on making my clothes 3D. I'm just not a quite a expert. I know how to do it. You go here.